Hey guys, Adam from IamTheTrend.com and of course I'm the Trend TV with a t-shirt review for you. Tonight we have the, the SW Place. Uh, not sure actually what the SW stands for, but we're going to go with the SW Place. As you can see, awesome mailer right off the bat. Packaging, printing, price, presentation. The four P's of T's. Um, starting off with a bang here. It's been a while since I've seen a custom box. Um, sent to me, so very cool stuff. Here's little details on the box itself. Um, pretty awesome. So really nice to see a, br a brand new brand come out of the gate swinging uh, with custom box. I know they're expensive to do, but it adds a lot to the branding if you can afford to do it. So let's see the t-shirts themselves because hey, if the t-shirts suck and the box is good, no one's actually buying the box. So. Let's get to the more important stuff. Inside they are, oops, there we go, uh, tissue wrapped, which is cool. Very nice touch. Uh, also have some stickers as well, the SW Place. Uh, the SW Place is a brand based around bicycling or cycling, if you will. Um, so everything's based around bikes that you're going to see. Each one is also individually tissue wrapped. So packaging off the, off the bat, very nice job. Wow, and they are even poly bags. So these guys have not messed around at all when it comes to their packaging. Um, really going for a nice professional and polished look out of the gate. As I mentioned, this is their first line. So to do all this off the bat is pretty, pretty darn impressive. Poly bags keeping everything fresh. And let's crack this bad boy open and see what we have. So you the shirts first, and then we'll review them. Very soft. Um, here's the first design. So it looks like a stick man riding a bike towards you in success. He is pumped that he's just finished the race and hopefully won. Um, maybe I'm reading in it, didn't do that too far, I don't know. But that's what I see. It's like a Rorschach test. Um, they also have the printed tag on the inside, as well as the custom hang tag on the outside which actually shows this design um, and then the back it's a little bit small a little hard to read it's fine jersey tee the softest smoothest best looking t-shirt available um, and then machine wash it is extremely soft I believe this is a guild and soft style shirt um, please do not quote me on that it just that's what it looks like to me and feels like and next up if I can open it these poly bags are so tricky. Uh, here we go. T number two. As I mentioned, another bike bicycle T-shirt. Um, pretty cool on their on their website, <clears throat> theswplace.com. There is a video on how this shirt got uh, created. You know, from scratch. It shows them drawing it all out and uh, how it starts from an idea and concept to an actually finished design, which is pretty awesome. So. Printing overall is really nice. Um, it's soft. Prints look good. Everything looks pretty clean. Lines look good. And uh, ink looks very evenly laid. Same thing with this. This one's obviously a lot simpler of a, uh, of a print. Looking at it, it looks good. Print is, printing is really good. So I'm going to give them an A on the printing. Um, price, they're $25 a shirt, which isn't bad considering all the extras that you get with the package. Um, you know, the die cut, the cool box, um, the tea tag, which is always nice. I love it. And uh, the hang tag. And then a really nice print and t-shirt. So $25 is uh, usually the top of my uh, cutoff for t-shirt brands. Um, and they're right there. And it looks like it's, you know, well justified. So I'm going to give them an A on price. And an overall presentation. I, myself, am not a cyclist. I've never really been into cycling. Um, but it's cool. Like I've, I've always said, find a brand niche if you can. You know, if you're trying to market to everybody, you know, it, it's way more difficult than you actually if you honed in on a brand image or a brand identity. So the idea that these guys are really passionate about cycling and have turned that their passion about cycling into a t-shirt brand is really cool. So I'm gonna give the overall presentation a B plus. Um, well, I'm not completely in love with the designs. I think they're solid, especially this one. This is uh, maybe just a little bit too simple for my liking. Oh, I also just didn't notice. 
I don't know how I missed this the first time, but they have a really cool hem tag along the bottom as well with their logo. So another finishing. These guys really did not cut any corners when it comes to finishing. Um, so overall, solid B+. Plus. I mean, even an A. I mean, it's really worth the A um, with all the finishing and the nice job of printing um, that they've done on these. So if you're into cycling, make sure to check it out. The southwestplace.com or the swplace.com um, to check them out. Uh, they do have about four or five designs, I believe, in their shop uh, to peruse. So make sure to give them a shot if you like cycling or know somebody that likes cycling or just think these are cool designs, which they are. Um, you can check them out at southwestplace.com. So until next time, I am Adam from IamTheTrend.com. You can follow me on Twitter.com slash IamTheTrend, Facebook.com slash IamTheTrend. Until next time, stay shirty.